So I want to respond to a couple people in particular who have asked me, how hard is it to record something and get it on YouTube? And there are thousands of tutorials out there, but I want to just break it down in a very simple, easy to digest, hopefully, um, process of how I take footage from a camera, like the one I'm using now, which is a Lumix or the iPhone, and get that onto the computer into Final Cut Pro and then the basic steps in Final Cut Pro that I use to put together a video. I wanted to show you some of the things that I made the last couple days. The first one is this jacket. I made it as a size large, which now I realize is a little too big, but uh, it's double sided, it's lined, it's reversible. Okay, here's another thing I made. This is a very soft, kind of like a thick flannel, and this is also reversible. So the style is to have the wrong sides out, so you can see the seams. There's a seam in the back, and it's you can see there's two different uh, sides of the fabric. One is lighter, and then one is darker, and so it's also reversible, and then in that way, the seams would be hidden like a traditional shirt. I like how the collar comes up. Uh, it's just, I thought this pattern was really pretty. Okay, and here's a dress I made. This is a rayon. It's very light, very a little stretch in it. I did a little um, detail in the back here. And the last thing I wanna show you are some shorts I made. These are just a drawstring shorts. So now let's show you how to edit this video. If you shoot any video on your iPad, you just go to your photos, find the video, click on it, and then click share. And then you can do an airdrop to your computer and it will download onto your downloads. This is the Lumix camera that we use, or one of them and the the discs uh the memory discs are on the side here and so after i shoot turn off the camera just push one of those out and take it over to the computer and insert the card into the mac on the side there then i open up final cut pro this is the only software i've used i really really like it it's very simple so do file new library and I'll just call this YouTube editing. And so I open the library. Now I do file new event and I'm gonna call it YouTube editing. And then that will automatically put in a project which I'll just edit right there in place to YouTube editing. And then I will start to import footage that I've shot into the project. In the left hand corner, there's a little arrow, down arrow. I click on that and these are the, the places where I can download footage. And so I click on the Lumix, click on the two files. I notice on the right, it says add to existing event, YouTube editing. And then I just hit import selected. I also wanna find the files I sent myself. So I go to O'Kelly and find the downloads folder, sort that by most recent and I click on the two movies that I took and hit import select. And it's gonna default into this timeline. So now I have some videos in my timeline to start editing. Now I highlight the clip that I want and I just pull it into and drag it into the timeline down below and highlight the next one and drag it below. Another thing you can do is when you're looking at your clip before you drag it into your timeline, you can hit play and then you'll watch a little play head, that little red line, move across the clip. And as you watch it and you find the part that you like, if you hit the I key, the shortcut I, that will make a starting mark and then you let the keep it keep playing and when you're ready for it to stop, you hit O. So input and output. And that way you don't have to drag the entire clip into your timeline. So that's another little shortcut combination to memorize. It makes things really easy to bring stuff into your timeline that you know you want. Okay, now that I have some clips in the timeline, what I'm gonna do is start to edit the timeline. So we'll go to the first clip here 
and I know it's uh, too long and so what I do is so I hit pause and then I hit B on the keyboard and that is for blade and that allows me to go in there and slice the clip and once I've sliced it now I clip now I hit A and that allows me to go back and do my normal editing which is to shorten and or extend a clip just by dragging it so that little yellow bar you can drag it by just holding clicking down and holding it with your trackpad or your mouse so play around with those two things that's the a and the b those are your most frequently used or my most frequently used shortcuts another thing i want to show you is how to just put audio underneath your video so let's say you shoot some video and then later you want to do a voiceover well that's a really simple thing to do because all you have to do is record yourself talking and you can do that on your camera or if on your iPhone you have a voice memo the camera is pretty easy and then you would just download that clip like you would a regular video file and then you just place it underneath your timeline and you can move it to be wherever you want it you can cut it clip it down edit it the same way you would do any other file and that way it plays underneath your video and if your video has audio you can stop that audio mute that audio so that your voiceover will be what we hear another thing I do frequently is I either slow things down or speed them up so I click on this little icon that looks like a speedometer and you see slow and fast and so once the clip is highlighted I can go and select whatever speed I want and it will be applied to that clip. Another one of my favorite shortcuts is Command Z. Basically, that's the undo button. So you go in and you make something fast and you realize it wasn't the right thing. So you just do Command Z and that'll put you right back to where you were. And you can hit Command Z, I think an infinite amount of times and it'll take you all the way back. So that's a wonderful shortcut to memorize. Okay, I wanna walk you through a basic color correction. So find the clip you want to work on, click on it so it's highlighted. In the upper right hand corner, you will see a triangle. When you click on that, you see an exposure tab and there's three different um, dials you can move up. One is the brightness and one is the contrast and then one is the grayscale. So just play around with those and see what looks right. Then you can click on the middle tab, which is the saturation tab and that will basically change your video from black and white if you want all the way to orange people so you can play around with that one too and and basically just uh, use your eye to see what looks right another thing i want to show you is how to zoom in to a clip so in the right hand corner you have your color board, all kinds of details you can modify about the image. So I'm just going to show you a basic scale. So I would make sure my clip is highlighted and then I would click on the scale all and zoom that in to what I want. And then on the anchor, I can adjust the axis on the Y and the X and just play around there so that I get what I want to be centered. Okay, once you have your video to where you like it, all you do is go to File, Share, and I do Apple Devices 4K. And then that will take a few minutes, depending on how long your video is, to share. It will A little box will come up in the right-hand corner that says your sharing is complete. And then you need to go find it on your computer. When you hit Share, you'll see where you can set that up. And that's it. So then, now you're ready to go to YouTube. So assuming you've already got a YouTube account, all you do is in the right-hand corner, 
look for the little camera with a plus on it and you click on that plus it says upload video and then it takes you to a screen where it says select files here if you want to make it an unlisted video which means you can send that link to whoever you want to send it to but it won't go out to the public I do that when I make personal videos for people um, or public so you choose that there's another place to choose it as well but then you just hit select file find your your file again and hit upload and then depending on how big a file it is it could take you a few minutes to an hour depending on your internet speed so then it'll be uploaded and that's where it'll also prompt you to put in a title and description and keywords so there you go I hope this has been an easy to digest tutorial there are so many great Final Cut Pro videos on all the special effects that you can add and I could show you more but honestly I am such a novice when it comes to Final Cut Pro and I know it. So I just want to say, hey, it's not that hard. And for a long time, it was a big excuse for me to not do it because I didn't want to learn. I didn't think I could do it. I just, you know, had a resistance to it. And so I'm hoping that this quick little tutorial will help you get over the stumbling block of I don't know how to actually edit videos and put something on YouTube. So hope you enjoy and leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. So I know what you think. Thanks.